Today we're going to write songs that sound like Wonderwall by Poses and we're going to do it with a guitar VST. So stick around. Hi friends, it's William Nolens and I'm back for another video. If you haven't done so, you can subscribe to my channel so once a week you get a free tutorial on how to write songs with Ampour Guitar VSTs. But today I want to talk about what makes Wonderwall a great song and how can we emulate a guitar riff that sounds like Oz's best-selling title. To do that, first we'll need to analyze the chord progression and then we'll go to Ampour Sound's Strama interface and I'll show you how to set up the chord bank right. Then I'll give you some guidance on how to design a guitar strumming pattern that will make your chord progression come into life. And if you watch the video until the end, you'll get something like this. So first part of the video is about how we can design a chord progression that sounds like Wonderwall by Oasis. First thing to have in mind is that the chord progression is extra simple. In fact, it is so simple that the song is even considered as a beginner's exercise by most guitar teachers. Why is that? Well, because the song doesn't require complex movements from the hands. Let's see how it goes. It starts with an E minor 7 a G major, an A7 suspended 4, and a D suspended 4. The notation can look a bit complicated, but it is for a reason. If you pay extra attention to the chords, you'll notice that two notes are constantly played whatever is the chord we strum. Those two notes are a D note and a G note. They keep on ringing as the chord progression goes, and that gives the song that famous sound signature we all love. And well, if it is as simple as I just said it was, so let's open an Apple Guitar VST and let's see what we can do. So let's select the first slot in the chord bank. Let's choose an E chord, turn it into a minor and let's add the two notes I was talking about a bit earlier, right here on the fretboard, the D note and the G note. So we generate an E minor seven. Up next, we can select a G chord, turn it into a major chord, and add a D note on the guitar fretboard just above the chord bank. Next, choose an A chord, turn it into a 7, and slightly modify the shape by adding a D note and a G note on the fretboard. And in the fourth slot, we'll have a D chord, and we'll turn it into a suspended 4. Now let's have a look at the strumming grid. If you're not a guitarist or if you're new at programming virtual guitars, you must know that Ampour Sound provides us with tons of samples and patterns that you can pick in the strummer library. So click on that button to open the library, select the SEQ44 folder, and let's look for the 070 16 444 04 pattern, which is uh, kind of a good one for that song. Click on it and it will appear in the grid. All right, now close the plugin, create a MIDI clip, and make sure that it lasts four measures. Then uh, draw or write a C3 MIDI note, duplicate it three times and let's program the chord progression. So it goes with C1, C sharp one, D 
one and D sharp one. And if you have no idea of what I'm doing right now, just check out my video on how to strum an ample sound guitar. And I'm just going to add a caper to in the main view so it sounds a bit brighter. And let's listen to the song again. So what makes Wonderwall a great song? We could say that the constant use of the G notes and the D notes make it sound sweet and lovely. But there are other chords that will help you to create that sensation of wonder. So let's try the following. In here, I'm going to start with a G major. And you'll notice that I have added the D notes on the fretboard just above. Then I'm going with a D suspended 4 and then with a C at 9. Why? Well, because I want to play a C major, but I also want to keep on playing the D and the G notes. Those notes are very important to create that atmosphere we're looking for. Then on the grid, I loaded the 116.44.05B pattern. And let's not forget about the capo 5 that we can program in the main view of any ample sound instrument. And let's listen to that. Now let's try to keep that special ambience these chords provide, but let's try to make a song with finger picking techniques. So for this song, I'm going to play with AGML2, which is a free plugin by Ample Sound, and I'm going to stay as usual super simple. So I have a little chord progression going on there, E1, G1, and then D2, okay, as a transition chord. And then the main pattern would be uh, made with E1 and G1. And as they do in uh, Wonderwall by Osis, uh, like I will keep on playing those notes, D3, G3, whatever is the chord I'm using, all right? So that is building that feeling of wonder we can feel uh, when we listen to Wonderwall or that song. So have a listen.
that will be the end of that video. I hope you enjoyed it. You can hit the like button if you did. And if you want more resources on how to play with Apple Sound DST, that video will teach you how to strum an Apple guitar, while this video will give you some tips and tricks on how to make it sound realistic. And obviously you can also subscribe to the channel because once a week I'm uploading a new tutorial on guitar VSTs. So see you next time.